always go back to California, which is my roots. So this season is about Richard Nutra and the beautiful homes he built in Palm Springs, California. He comes to California and brings modernism, but also responds to the, the culture and lifestyle and the, the nature of California. We want a very fresh girl. I'm using a new foundation called Invisible with very sheer. It's like a second skin. I'm using the yellow on the eyelid. Yellow has this fascinating talent to catch the light. I'm playing a little bit with the eyebrow to make it stronger. I love women with power. The look is a very um, clean, simple ponytail. It has a deep side part and it's all straightened. You know, no flyaways, every hair in place. It's inspired by uh, an architect named Richard Neutra that Derek was inspired by for the collection. So we're just keeping those clean, simple lines in the hairdo. We're using the volume active spray to blow dry the hair. Then we are using the workable finishing spray to scrape it all back into the ponytail, tie the elastic, and then the shine defining wax on the ponytail just to have no flyaways. Last year I did the show. Yeah. I'm wearing a beautiful, I think it's linen coat, it's very nice. I was uh, wearing a white dress by him uh, for a party uh, a few days ago. It was very beautiful, yeah. Super friendly and yeah, nice to work with. We have our Anthea bag, which is our kind of now our classic bag. But then we're introducing a new bag, which is this wonderful little kind of handbag. Here it's done in this yellow crocodile. I love the idea of uh, softly structured bags. Uh, that feels kind of modern. Derek Lamb has this, uh, for, for me as an English person, it's kind of inspiring and uplifting to see that American point of view. I, I just love the simplicity of the idea of wearing a, a sweater, a yellow sweater over an A-line skirt. Or those kind of uh, sweater suits as well, which are just vaguely referenced in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, mid-century modern, but not, not overwhelmingly so. skirt that it's 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 a nice length for I don't know for legs I guess and uh, such a cool sweater it's I mean it's made of like elastic so it's like really suits the body really well he's a great person I like his design a lot I think color is so important for spring, it always is, but this time uh, doing brights in a new way where they're a little bit more milky in coloration, um, so you see coral. 
peppermint, yellow, and ecru, and a lot of white to kind of give a very fresh look to the colors. But for spring, you know, we're, as a designer, we're always challenged with what kind of textures can you use versus fall. Um, but uh, having those elements like a lot of leather, snake skin, and some amazing prints, and a lot of knitwear that have uh, all these different kind of crochet elements and uh, jacquards kind of creates uh, wonderful layering pieces for your wardrobe. When you go into to a store and you find a direct, you, you come across a direct land piece, the quality is really uh, exquisite. That element of very clean, uh, spare minimalism mixed with uh, the warmth of the California lifestyle is what I was uh, tapping into.